Welcome. Today we are going to use Unity's new XR hand gesture sample with WebXR export. Unity XR hands package adds hands tracking capabilities to supported XR providers like the, web, the OpenXR package and the WebXR export package. As you can see in the docs. Hmm. Something is missing here. Um, anyway, we'll start with an existing project. I already imported the XR hands and OpenXR packages. and the uh, XR hands samples. And, uh, the, and set the open XR uh, settings to work with the XR hands package. I also imported the universal vendor pipeline package and converted the rendering settings and materials. As WebXR export right now requires the URP in order to work properly. And I switched to WebGL in the build settings. And we can see that the, the hand gesture sample works in the editor. Now we need to import the WebXR export and WebXR interactions packages. We'll do it by going to the GitHub repo and look for more info on how to download. Here in the readme of the packages, we can see how to set the scoped registry in the package manager. name, URL, scopes, let's copy all of that and save. As you can see in the docs, we can also add the com attender to the scopes uh, Um, but this is only if we want to use WebXR input profiles uh, for different controllers models, but as it's only hence demo and there's already hence models in the sample, we don't need it for this demo. As we applied the changes, We can go to the package manager window and in the my registry category, we'll add the WebXR export and WebXR interactions packages.
The current versions are 0.20.0. We'll set all the relevant WebXR project settings now, so we'll not forget to do it later. We'll start with Window WebXR Copy WebGL Templates. Go to Edit, Project Settings, It Point System uh, Package and set the background behavior to ignore focus. As we are on a browser and we want to keep tracking the controllers even when the experience tab is not in focus. In XR plugin management we want to set on WebGL we want to set in it on startup and enable WebXR export. In XR plugin management WebXR, we can confirm that both VR and AR uh, request hand tracking and the reference space is set to local floor. In player resolution and presentation we should choose one of the WebXR templates. We'll go with the basic one for this demo. And in the publishing settings, um, the local HTTPS server that I'm using doesn't support compression, so I set compression format for disabled to disable. And now to the real thing. First, we go to the XR origin and add two components Web XR Manager uh, to be able to switch to Web XR and Web XR input system to update Unity's input system with the WebXR hence data. As we set in the WebXR export settings the reference space to floor or local floor, let's update the uh, XR origin to use floor as well. We switch Tracking or origin mode to floor. We reset the camera offset and we update the main camera position such that we will see uh, all the uh, canvases that we need. For some reason in this demo there are two tracked pose driver components on the main camera and as the newer one as a bug will keep only the legacy component. Next, spectator camera. WebXR by default 
doesn't display an image on the web page when in XR mode. As it's an extra step that in most devices is not needed, but, but as I'll test this demo on a desktop browser, I want to show you the results. For that, I'll need the spectator camera. So, let's create, let's create new camera and call it spectator camera. We can position it as a child of the main camera to follow the user's view, or we can set it in a static position. We'll go for a static position, and we'll position it in a place where we can clearly see all the data. For camera settings, Let's lower the clipping planes. Uh, as we don't need more than ten than ten meters away from our view. In rendering we want to give it higher priority so it will be draw after the user camera. We can set it to 10. In some cases we might want to set a specific culling mask, but not in this demo. <laughs> and important, the target eye we need to select none as we don't want to display it as a VR or AR target. Now we can disable the camera component so it will be enabled only once entering XR mode we need to remove the audio listener and now we can add the spectator camera. And enable in XR. We can set the enable in XR value from a canvas button, but for this demo we'll enable the spectator camera every time we enter XR. In a real scenario, we'll want to let the user decide if they want to enable spectator mode or not, as it affects performance. And now, we can save the scene and build. And using the magic of I already built it, we can just switch to try the build and see how it works. Ooh. Notice that I'm using desktop home canary with the WebXR hand input 
flag enabled. Uh, this is for the desktop browser to have hands, hands tracking. Um, if you would like to support WebXR export, you can report issues, suggest features, and pull requests, and be a GitHub sponsor. Next plan video is about WebXR export and XR interaction toolkit. Thanks for watching. Bye.